I'm gonna show you how to pick up an 18 foot dual lane all by your skinny little self. Here we go, baby. Okay, there it is. Still in the, I'm still in the glorious air conditioning right now. Feels like temperature is 112 right now, so this is gonna be at an absolute adventure, but nothing to do but get started, so here we go. Skate bag, check. Rolling straps, check. All right, here we go, dude. Some of the nastiest mud. I got water in it or if I flooded myself. It's so hot outside the GoPro just overheated. So this is the battery that was in it. It's like almost burning my hand. It's that freaking hot out here. So this isn't bad, but if it was, what you can do is preload your straps like this and come up here, wrap around your anchor, make a little knot, boom. Okay, here's the secret move. So you've got it all set up like this. You slip your hands under the straps like this, and then you can use these as leverage. Grab here. It's kind of sliding on me, which is weird. Bingo. Just like that, my friends. Okay, so to review, you've got your anchor here, okay? Then you tether that around, that top part, so that way you can then use these as leverage from the other side, pulling. That works out really well, too, if you have two people. So one guy pushing, one guy pulling, but the one guy that's pushing can actually be behind it pulling those straps works out magnificent because you get so much leverage it's about 112 degrees out here almost literally feels like temperatures because it's so humid today so let's finish this sucker up so i can get back to the air conditioner i'm sweating like crazy got your jump off straps with your label this is an old ass one 18 foot dual lane blue hurricane never grab the wrong slide get these at the jumpoffstore.com It's only Tuesday, but I promise you, this is biz and then booze. There'll be beers tonight for sure. <laughs> Uno, dos. <sighs> so another fun fact today, I did not eat enough food. I'm very hungry. <laughs> all right, next to the waterfall, it's all good. So here we are at the end of our journey. So I'm gonna roll these back up and make them look pretty, okay? If I was going to another pickup Sunday, this would not be happening. I would just wad them up and stick them in a the truck. But I like to get them pretty. They're good for storage. That's why I designed them to get pretty at the end. More of this video is you can come and confidently conquer an 18 foot dual lane. No problemo, as long as you have the right tools. So I have the second greatest invention in the history of the bounce house business, the rolls off. I have the third best invention of all time, rolling straps. With these two tools, you can do pretty much anything on the physical side of the business that you want to. Now, you may be asking, what's the number one greatest invention of all time? If you haven't seen me talk about it before, it is booking software, rental software, i.e inflatable office so if you want to go check out inflatable office do that there's a link down in the description you can go check it out get a demo do all the things it is an affiliate link so if you sign up i potentially could make some money uh, but in me and inflatable office I have a great relationship the jump off is actually sponsored by them i've got a great relationship with all the guys there with tim the founder it's a great 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 like i just can't even say enough about the company and about the freaking software it's the number one greatest invention in the history of the bounce house business. So I'm working on making a video of the top three greatest inventions in the history of the bounce house business. So if you wanna go check that out, uh, if it's out 
Hopefully it's out by now. You can go check it out. But if not, then just do me the huge favor of subscribe. And I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. And every single one of you guys that subscribes is amazing. It absolutely changed my life. And then here's now the muddy, nasty rolling straps. Show you this mud situation here. Hopefully I can navigate with one hand while I film it. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this behind. I'm gonna come back for it. Okay, let's whip her around. I know that shot the wrong way, but it's the only way I can make it happen. All right, check this out. It's hard to tell because the water already rushed back in, but that's the ruts we just made. Rolls all, baby. Never leave home without it, literally, no matter what. These anchor bags are clutch. I'll have them for sale soon. Let that bad boy drip. All right, there you go. Take a look at 18 foot dual lane up solo. My tarp, oh my God, I forgot the blower, dude. I gotta go back to the blower right now. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this behind. I'm gonna come back for it. But I just took off my boots and it's full of mud. I'm gonna jump the fence, I'll be okay. Anyways, you guys get to see, you know what I mean? Kind of a behind the scenes of what it's like to go pick up a big ass slide in a hot ass day alone as a skinny dude. Like I'm skinny, like look at me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Do all the things. Go buy some shit from thejumpoffstore.com. Love you. Peace out. Look at her, dude. Firm, tight, short. Just how I like them. <laughs>